SBS. My name is Megan Blake and I'm a Spanish teacher in Northwestern Pennsylvania. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to add accent marks into Google Docs. If you're using a MacBook, this is extremely simple. Essentially, all you have to do is press the option button, hold it down and then click E. That's going to bring up an accent mark and you can release both keys. And the next step you're going to take is just to press whatever letter you want to accent. So if I want to accent an A, I'm just going to click A. And there's my accented lowercase a. Now, if I want to make it a capital, I'm going to do the same thing. Hold down option and click E, release both of the keys. Then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to press the letter I want to put in as a capital. So let's do A again. So shift A. And there we are with our capitalized accented letter A. If you want to do an N yay, you do the same type of thing. You're going to hold down option, but instead of clicking E, you're going to click N and that's going to bring up the tilde. Then you just have to press N one more time. And then if you want to make it a capital, you're going to do option N and then you're going to click shift and then N and there's your capital N with an N yay. In order to do an exclamation point, you're going to click option and then just press the exclamation point button. If you want to do a question mark, you need to hold down shift and option, then click the question mark button. And there you are. And in order to do any other vowel, so E, I, O, U, anything else that needs an accent mark, you're going to follow the same steps that you would follow with A by holding down option, pressing E, releasing both of the keys, and then just typing the letter that you want to accent. If you're working on a PC, it gets a little bit harder. There is a list of codes out there that starts with alt and then a sequence of numbers for each special character, but it requires a number pad. So if you're using a laptop, the list of codes doesn't help you much. When using Google, there's a couple of other ways that you can insert accent marks. So in Docs, you can simply go to insert and scroll down to special characters. From there, it gives you an entire list of all the special characters they offer. You can go by symbols, arrows, but the way you're going to be able to find the symbol you want the easiest is clicking here in the search by keyword box. And so let's go with E now. So I'm going to be searching for an accented E. I just type E there and it's going to pull up all the accent options I have for the letter E. And I just kind of have to hunt and find for Latin small letter E with a cute accent. So I click it and it automatically inserts it into my document. And I can do the same. It's got all the capitals here as well. But a cool feature that this has is this box right here that allows you to draw the symbol you're looking for. You can use a touch screen. You can use your trackpad on your laptop. Or if you have a mouse, all you have to do is click and hold down. And you can draw the symbol you're looking for. So I'm looking for an E with an accent. And it's the very first result. So that's a very easy way to go ahead and insert uh, letters, insert uh, accent marks. I got the Latin I, I've got an exclamation point in here somewhere. There we are. And I can even do the upside down exclamation point, which I say is like an I with a C on the end. And I can insert them that way. The other way that you can insert accent marks on Google is to add an add-on. So add-ons are little tools that they enable you to be able to do really cool things on your Google Docs. But a word to the wise is that you are, if you are using a school Google account, sometimes admin disables the ability of uh, its users to insert add-ons into their Google Docs or any of the other um, applications that they use for various reasons. Sometimes there's not so great ones in here. Um, and it's easier just to go ahead and ban the ability to install them across the board than the pick and choose. So my account that I'm currently on is my school account and they have disabled this action. So I'm looking for easy accents for docs. They also offer it for slides. And you can see right here, it says that install is disabled by admin. You can definitely email your principal or see who you might need to get in touch with in order to see if you can get that disabled so that you can utilize this if it's important. Um, but what this, uh, this add-on does is when you activate it, it gives you this pop-up screen on the right side of your page that shows you all the different accented letters and all the different cool marks that you're going to need for that specific language. So for instance, the example they give here is for French. These are all the different types of symbols they're going to need in order to type French correctly. 
So it's not available for me to install on my school account, but I also have a personal Google account. And I went ahead and opened up a document in my personal Google account so I can show you if you're going to go ahead and do this. It's very easy to share the file between your personal and your school account. So what I just did is I went in, I'm gonna search apps, I'm looking for easy accents. I see it right down there. Um, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and click it. And I can just go ahead and install it. I'm gonna click continue. And it's going to make me select which account I want to use it for, and I'm using it for my personal. Now, once this is installed, I'm going to be able to open it up, and it's going to have me choose which language I want it to be um, checking for or which accent marks I'm going to need. So just one second, it's going to go ahead and load. All right, and now the plugin should be installed into my document. And once it's installed into my docs, it's installed into all my docs. So I could open it up in a brand new one. I can open it up, oh, there we go. It's been installed, there we go. I can open it up in a new one, old ones, anything, but I have to go ahead and click add-ons now. And now Easy Accents shows up and I'm going to click Start. From there, it's gonna ask me what language we're working with. I'm going to select Spanish. So down here, Spanish. And then it shows me all of the different accent marks I'm going to use. Um, in order to use it as a lowercase, I just go ahead and click the button and it's gonna automatically insert it right here. If I want it to be capital, I do have to press Shift and then click the button and it'll insert it as a capital. And the only reason this one capitalizes is because it auto capitalized because it's the beginning of a sentence. All right, so that is an easy way to go ahead and insert some add-ons um, and insert some accent marks into your Google Doc. Now, I usually show students uh, both of these manners of inserting accent marks. Uh, the one that we use more often in class is by just going to insert and doing the symbol. But another really easy way that you can add accents into your documents is just to go to Google and search Spanish accent marks. And I misspelled marks, but it's okay. They understood what I meant. And you can literally just copy and paste what you need straight from that Google search. So I've got all my accented lowercase vowels right here. I can just copy them and I can paste them right in. And if you want to search specific ones, you can do looking for a capital. You can, you know, even like you can copy things from just the search results. You don't even have to click on the links in order to utilize your copy and paste. Now, for students, like I said, I usually show them how to insert stuff, um, but Google is actually really good at auto recognizing language and it will often suggest an edit that includes the accent mark, though it doesn't do that 100% of the time. I tend to give a lot of grace to my students when it comes to typing with accent marks, but one way that I can provide them to them and make it easier is for the assignment, I can create a template and I can go ahead and insert one of each letter that they could possibly need to use right there on the template. So here's one for an assignment that I assigned a little while back um, where they were doing a description of a famous person. And they had to give their name, the name of the person they were describing, and give their description below. They had to give three physical and three non-physical descriptors. And I went ahead and above the place where they were going to be typing their response, just put an accented version of each of the vowels, and yay, and then what was intended to be an upside down exclamation point, though right now it looks like an I, and an upside down question mark. Now, I did not make an exhaustive list. There are not any capitals in this list, but you can definitely add those or, you know, Google is very handy dandy and likes to do the autocorrect with capitalization, so you might not even want to worry about it. Hopefully this has been helpful for you to be able to see how you can insert accent marks into your Google Docs, either via the insert, oh, <laughs> via the insert and going to the special characters drop down menu going into a Google account where you are able to add in an add-on like Easy Accents and have them accessible on the right-hand side of your screen by clicking add-ons and opening up the application, or simply by just going to Google and Googling it and then copying and pasting into your document. Muchas gracias, adios, chao.